I'm going to hold you along, but listen to these words from the book of Proverbs, the third chapter says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not into thine own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. And then Psalm 121 says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hill from whence cometh my help my help cometh from the lord just for a few minutes from the subject look to god and trust him say it with me look to god and trust him say it again look to god and trust him look to god and trust him, god and trust him. i got I got caught up in the news and watching how they would show the, the, the map of the USA and how each state was turning red. And for a while, Florida wasn't red. And then after some days, Florida become red as well and means they have been infected with the virus. Watching the news and, and, and looking at what the, the, the newscaster present and the grim look that it gave to our nation as to how we're going to stop the spreading of this disease. And at one point, it was making me afraid to even go out of the door. It has changed our behavior. Uh, we no longer can embrace one another. No longer can high five or low five one another. Walk around with Jurex in our hand. We walk around wondering if you're in a room somewhere, in a store, and somebody coughs. Can I get a witness? Somebody cough, you will turn with concern. I was allowing situations that was occurring to halt my focus in a direction which I should have been looking. I should have been looking to the Lord. Should have been looking to him for, for guidance and for, for security and for comfort. But because of my focus, it allowed me to to get off track and to worry about something that only God can work out. Amen. It is so easy for us to get caught up in, in, in what's happening in our world, but the one thing that a child of God has, and that is a God, caught my master, who can do anything, who is able to move any mountain, who is able to bring you out of any valley. Our God has all power. And if I have to stand out in the hot sun and preach his word, here am I, Lord, send me. Anybody feel like that, Lord, if I got to do it, Lord, I'll do it wherever you give me a chance to be able to do it. But when I look at our behavior and my own behavior, I had to come to myself and realize that God is still in charge. Even though we must be mindful and be aware of what we should do, be respectful to one another, understand that the virus is serious, but God is still in charge. And that's a place that we can run to when it seems like there's nothing else. They told me a couple of days ago there wasn't no case in Cluiston. In Henry County. But that changed yesterday. So it seems to me that the, the, it's coming closer. But the same God that brought us, the same God that protects us, is the same one who is going to allow us to get through this situation. He has promised never to leave us nor to forsake us. That means that I'll be there. Like whatever you're going through, I am going to be with you. Our number one job 
is to keep giving him some glory while we're in the midst of the situation. That's where we have to make sure that God is always head of our lives. I did something because I was caught up in the virus and I felt bad after I said it after my actions, but my action was a result of my focusing on all of the negativity and what was going on. And Sister Brown says on the men, I, I, I'm not no snapper, but I, 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 you ever got caught up in, don't leave me hanging now, you ever got caught up in, in situations that you, you should have said some words better, but you, you, because your mind was all wrapped up in and tied up in so I, I thank God for the fact that she'd be merciful to me and, 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 and still let me go ahead on. But if we don't watch it, that enemy will get so close to us that we'll lose our focus on who we are and who we belong to. As the story went on, many folk were looking in all directions for help and for security. But this writer in this text says, As for me, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord. That's where my sustain, that's my, the one that keeps me together. That's the one that holds my mind. That's what's going to allow me to get through this corona crisis. We may as well arm ourselves with the word of God. Because he has promised, he said, now, but if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray and seek my faith, then will they heal, and I will ultimately heal their land. We got to pray. Don't wait for somebody else. We got to be the one to storm to heaven. We got to be the one to talk to God. Don't expect for nobody to talk to God for you. You got to talk to him for yourself. And allow him to do what he said. He's our peacemaker. He's the one to hold us together. So what are you saying, Pastor Brown? When you want to look in a direction, lift your eyes to the hills. From which cometh your help. Who brought you this far? Who took care of you when you weren't paying attention? Who, who watched over your family when you weren't giving him glory? Who was there for you when you didn't tell him thank you? And the same God that was there then, he'll be there now. All we have to do is continue to stand for him and give him all the glory and the praise for everything. Trust in the Lord with everything you got. And don't try to understand why or what the cause is. Trust God and allow him to do what he promised he's going to do. Somebody say trust God. When I trust God, that means my comfort level rises. When I turn over to Jesus, I know that he's got it. My difficulty, my, my, my problem is not allowing it to seep in later on. Sometimes you're going through something and the devil will find any way he can to pull you away from believing the God that you serve. Somebody say, hold on. Hold on. A little while longer and God will make a way. I want to thank you. I wonder how many would come. How many would would do. Oh, a pastor said to me, I, I, I'm, I'm going to just shut it down. Well, I can't shut it down. Something in me just won't let me shut down. God is all we got. God is all we got. Baby, you can wash your head till you turn into a raisin. The wind goes still blow some your way. It's not because you kept your head washed or your mouth covered that you didn't get it. It's because God has watched over you and he's still watching over you. Tell you neighbor, he's watching over me. He's watching over me. And that's why I've got to keep doing my best to give him glory in the middle of a tough situation. Remember one man said, King, he said, Look, we don't know what to do. But our eyes are upon you. We are watching you, God. We are waiting 
and believing that you're going to make a way for us. And I say to each and every one of you, hold on to God's unchanging hand and watch God pull us out of this. There's going to be the day we can look back and see where the Lord brought us from. But until we come out of it, we've got to praise God in it. We've got to give some God God's glory while we are still in the midst of it all. We've got to keep praying one for another, call and check on one another, believing that God will make a way. If you're in this place and you hear my voice, all you have to do is ask God to strengthen you and prepare you for the journey that's ahead of us. Believe in God that every time we get a chance, we'll meet back here again next Sunday morning, work out some of the kinks in our operation, but God is working it. God is making a way, and he's still being glorified by his people. Believe it or not, all we got is God. That's all we got. And to be real with you, we don't have the luxury of having a sanctuary that's paid for and debt-free. We don't have that luxury. So we have to come together and give one another to all to provide for God's house. That's why I appreciate each and every one of you who made time to be here this morning knowing that we're all in this thing together. And we are praying one for another. I still believe prayer changes things. I still believe prayer works. I still believe that God answers prayer. And he will not put more on us than we can bear. Somebody say he'll fix it. He will fix it. All we have to do is stand on his word. And when you've done all you know how to do to stand, stand right there on the word of God. And he will never, 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 he'll never let you down. That's all right. I don't mind. I don't mind sweating a little bit. I don't mind. I don't mind standing in the when I think about what he did for me, how he gave his life for me, how he died for me, how God raised him from the dead for me, I don't mind standing for him if it get a little hot. I don't mind giving him glory if it's a little difficult. I don't mind. Can I get a win? I don't mind. Whatever he wants us to deal with in our lives. God could move every mountain. Every obstacle we face, God could move it. But when he decides not to move it, he'll give us the strength that we'll be able to climb and tunnel our way through it. So I came to tell you today, keep tunneling your way through. Keep going one day at a time. Keep giving God glory one day at a time. And sooner or later, we will look back and see what the Lord has brought us through. Can't nobody do it but God. If you're in this parking lot and you can stand to your feet, stand to your feet. We're going to pray. We're going to pray and ask God to strengthen us, empower us with His strength that we'll be able to do what He called us to do. Sometimes we must go through difficult periods. And always be a flower beds of ease. We've got to fight if we're going to rain. We've got to be able to hang in there and fight on a little while longer. When it's uncomfortable. When things don't seem to be going right, we got to keep fighting on.